Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that I didn't do a video earlier or sooner. Um, I actually was like really tired this morning. I had to go to an appointment this morning, a special certain appointment that was important. Um, but I hope you enjoyed my Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie review last night because this is actually for the spoiler review this time for the what I watched for this two hour and six minute movie. So I'm going to discuss what I'm going to be talking about and just to let you guys know if you have not seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness um, I would advise not watching this video. That's just a disclaimer, just to make sure that YouTube doesn't block this video or whatever, or take down this video for me not saying a disclaimer. But that's my disclaimer for this video. Just, if you have not seen it, this movie, do not watch this video. If you have, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, so let's dive into this a spoiler review for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Alright, so at the beginning, it shows the long-haired Doctor Strange, a different Doctor Strange in a different multiverse, basically uh, with this girl, America Chavez, uh, which she's kind of a new character in this movie, uh, but yeah, she's got some kind of power that... Uh, she can't control, but she tries to find a way to during this movie, but as the movie goes on, but to continue where I left off, um, yeah, Doctor Strange and America Chavez are running from this kind of beast, machine kind of beast or whatever, I don't know if I'm exactly saying what it is, but they're running away from it. And they basically, uh, have to just go to the Book of Ashanti to destroy this beast or whatever. And what happens is, while that's happening, uh, they're in some pretty deep trouble because the beast is, like, grabbing a hold of the girl and trying to suck out her power and... Then, after that, it Doctor Strange has to make a choice, either destroy the, de destroy the beast from the book, to read the book or whatever, and destroy the beast somehow, or sacrifice the girl, and he has to, he makes a choice to sacrifice the girl, and says this is for the greater good or whatever, and I'm really sorry and all that, but... Yeah, uh, then he gets stabbed by the beast or whatever, the machine beast or whatever, and then, uh, surprisingly gets dropped, and then America Chavez sends the beast to an alternate dimension or something like that, I don't, I'm not sure, and they both get sucked into the thing, and basically, uh, after that, they go into the actual Doctor Strange's universe, the Doctor Strange in the time we know, right after the Avengers and No Way Home and all that. So basically, they Doctor Strange thinks he has a dream, had a dream like that, but come to find out later on, it was actually happening. So after the fight in... Well, he meets Christine again, Doctor Strange does at this wedding of hers, or something like that. And then some monster is attacking the city or whatever, and so he has to save the people of the city. And that's where uh, America Chavez comes in a little bit later, but... Actually, this was the actual beast, I believe, that was from the other multiverse of Doc, the dead Doctor Strange, I guess you could say, from that universe. And it's a little complex to figure out, but yeah, there's that Doctor Strange basically was trying to kill America Chavez or sacrifice her. But then, um, 
as the movie progresses on, I didn't see what happened to the beast. All I was told from my mom or whatever watching it is they killed the beast and stabbed it in the eye or whatever after a pretty prolonged fight through the that fight in New York City or wherever. And yeah, um, basically the beast was taken down a little bit, but it destroyed a lot of things. And uh, basically Doctor Strange is using his magic and all that, uh, his spells and all that to take care of the beast and all that. And then right after that fight is when they run into America Chavez the from the different universe, different multiverse or whatever. And so basically they go into the explanation that this Doctor Strange, the one from America Chavez's universe, was trying to sacrifice that uh, America Chavez, or herself, or whatever, so, uh, it's kind of confusing figuring this out somewhat, but as long as you pay attention to the movie, you'd understand what it, what's going on, so right after meeting with America Chavez, and finding out about the Book of Ashanti from Wong or whatever, because Wong comes in during the fight of that beast thing or whatever. Forgot to mention that. Um, he mentions the Book of Ashanti, that it can destroy powerful enemies uh, and all that. And as luck will have it, they have one somewhere buried somewhere in that universe or I think in a different universe or whatever but that's where uh, Doctor Strange goes to see Wanda or whatever and he asks her for his her help and what really happens is she has the power of the dark hold which is basically this dark book or whatever full of evil spells and all that so she's called the scarlet witch she's not wanda anymore and she says to dr strange she's like uh, give me the girl by tomorrow by tomorrow or whatever or there will be casualties or whatever <laughs> something like that and they refuse um because she said she'd leave them in peace or whatever if she, they give her the girl America Chavez and what's really happening is it was all Wanda basically through this movie it was pretty much Wanda from fighting for most of this movie I guess is the main villain of this movie sorry if I'm stuttering a bit or trying to come out with the word for it the main villain of this movie um, then, after watching that Benedict Cumberbatch meet Wanda, they try to hold down the fortress or whatever for where they are, and they basically, um, have to fight Wanda, and she's trying to get through the force field and all that, and, uh, she does find a way to get through the force field, and she starts attacking the other people with the magic and all that that possess that kind of magic uh wong's pupils wong's pupils or whatever and yeah that's where an intense fight begins and all that and so later on dr strange has to use a spell to trap wanda because she's attacking the temple or whatever or the fortress that they're at um and basically, yeah, Wanda's just attacking the whole place because she mentions that she wants to see her boys again when in fact it was just a it was just a dream of hers in a different universe and she can't have that because it was not real. She made it up. 
So basically, um, after seeing that fight and Doctor Strange putting her in that trap with the water and all that and the icicles coming at her like spikes and all that, she goes through the water just to get out, but she goes through this dong bell or whatever. And she sends a Doctor Strange to a different universe just to trap him or whatever. And so they wouldn't return her. They go to a different universe just in the nick of time. Uh, and then Wong gets captured by uh, Wanda or whatever. So basically, um, Wanda has uh, Wong or whatever. So... Doctor Strange has to find a way to go save Wong and destroy the Scarlet Witch, which is Wanda, of course. So, then, afterwards, uh, Doctor Strange meets up with this guy Baron, or whatever his name is. Uh, one of the Stranges, or the mystical guys, or whatever, that possess magic and all that. So... Basically, uh, they meet up with Baron a little bit later in the movie, as the movie progresses on. And there was this one scene before they meet Baron where this guy's asking uh, for money for the pepperoni rolls or whatever it is that America Chavez got. And basically, um, she is explaining to Doctor Strange that uh, her family's dead and all that because of the Doctor Stranges that came and tried to help her or something like that, some kind of sorcery. So pretty much Wanda has been the cause of going to each universe, multiverse or whatever, to see where she can find her boys and be with them. So she's been causing an incursion is what they call it in this movie. And, uh... Basically, she's messing with different timelines and causing some kind of calamity to happen in the universe that is now, uh, that is happening in this movie, of course. But basically, Doctor Strange and America Chavez are trying to get help from Baron to see if they, he can help them. And he kind of drugs them with this something in the tea or whatever. Puts something in the tea and it knocks them out. And they end up in this research facility. And that's where he meets Christine again. Doctor Strange and America Chavez meet the other universe's Christine. Uh, so basically it is a little confusing figuring this out. But in a way I didn't really get lost in this movie too much. Um, not that much, but it can seem confusing to some viewers watching it, but yeah, um, basically, America Chavez is the one that Wanda's coming after, and she's trying to find out which universe Doctor Strange and America Chavez are in, and so... That's where Doctor Strange is brought up to this council with Charles Xavier being in it, Black Bolt, uh, Captain Carter, um, and Mr. Fantastic is in it, and another girl with some kind of ability. I guess Captain Marvel or something like that. I'm not sure. But basically, she has to not... Wanda has to find out which universe Doctor Strange and America Chavez are in. She does find out, and she possesses the her herself in that universe just to go after America Chavez and capture her and take her power, of course. So afterwards, uh, they go to this. Uh, they meet up with the council and Charles Xavier is trying to understand what's going on 
and he says you're causing an incursion in this timeline, in this universe or whatever, and that could be climatic in a way to where you might be exiled or whatever. <laughs> so then Wanda comes in and is destroying the whole facility, the research facility that Baron took Doctor Strange and America Chavez to to be kidnapped in this or contained in this glass case or whatever. And so uh, Wanda's fighting the four superheroes, a uh, Mr. Fantastic, Black Bolt. Uh, give me a moment, guys. I got to pause this for a second. Sorry, guys, had to pause the video for a second. My mom needed me for something, but yeah, um, I'm going to explain a little bit more, and then I'm going to end this first part of the spoiler review, because I think I'm going to do a second part after this, so yeah, um, right after Wanda is attacking the research facility, the that multiverse of Wanda, because she can't physically go to that universe so she's doing this thing called dream walking is what they call it um so she's using the dark holds powers to enter the dream walking thing or whatever so yeah um i think when she's uh attacking that uh research facility or whatever that's where Black Bolt gets destroyed by Wanda, and he, Mr. Fantastic, reveals his uh, power, but also his weakness for Black Bolt, and he's, Mr. Fantastic says, oh, well, he can just kill you with just saying something, and he's with that mouth of his, and Wanda's like, what mouth? And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> So, basically, yeah, um, then Black Bolt gets killed and destroyed, and then comes Mr. Fantastic or whatever. I thought my mom was calling me for a moment ago, but I guess not. But then Mr. Fantastic gets destroyed afterwards, and he gets, he dies horribly, honestly. He, the, the stretchy arms of his get disintegrated or not disintegrated they start falling down a bit and twirling around and all that and then his head blows off uh, and then there's only Captain Carter and I guess Captain Marvel and then right when they're fighting for quite a bit uh, for maybe a minute or two Captain Carter gets sliced in half by her own uh, shield and dies, of course. And then, uh, I guess Captain Marvel gets killed by a statue, too. So, it's pretty messed up how they die. Uh, how all four of those heroes die. And then, Charles Xavier comes in to try to stop Wanda from reaching, uh, America Chavez. And, I guess he fails in the process. He almost succeeds by getting that universe's Wanda to get out of the Scarlet Witch, or the Scarlet Witch to get out of the universe as Wanda, for that universe, so, basically, he dies in the process, unfortunately, but, yeah, I'm gonna have to return to you for part two of the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness spoiler review, I hope you enjoyed this lengthy video for, uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness spoiler review part one video, did the best I could to make it as good as possible. I thought I could finish up on talking about this movie, but I guess not. So I gotta end this video because it only lets me go up to 20 minutes. But stay safe, guys. Take care. And as always, I will see you in my next video and the second part to the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness spoiler review video.